And again, welcome. My name is Rebecca Kozak. I am honored to be your host today of the Ask Doc Live show. And I thank my co-hosts so much for all of their help in helping us keep this run smoothly. We've got John T. McCall here in California. We have Ruth Ellen in Pennsylvania. We have Nasima. Where are you at now, Nasima? Minnesota. Minnesota. And I am here in Washington State. And we just appreciate everybody that's coming on. I know we have people um, from outside of the United States. And I love the fact that we can reach so many different people, different countries all around the world through this Zoom platform um, and come together and interact. So Dr. Wallach, oh, I have to read this. I have to read this little thing. So forgive me for almost forgetting. But um, the FDA requires us to let you know that our products are not meant to treat prevent, diagnose, or cure any diseases. The content of this program is to provide nutritional education information only, and this program is not to take the place of your primary care physician. Any testimonials that are shared on this program are real life results using the products that are mentioned here by Dr. Wallach. And we are honored to have one of the founding fathers of epigenetics here to guide us with the best options to obtain and maintain optimal health as we empower ourselves to take control of our own health, Dr. Joel Wallach. Welcome, Dr. Wallach. Well, thank you, Rebecca, and thank you to all the team here with us this morning and all of our visitors, appreciate you. And you know, there's so much to do, but we're gonna to start. And um, uh, basically, we have a couple of new tools out uh, number one is uh, the epigenetics, uh, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission, a uh, two CD set. And I've mentioned that before, I think, uh, but it's kind of going out the door like crazy right now. It's a two CD set. And it's an, it, the first hour is an interview with Bruce Lipton and myself, the two fathers of the science of epigenetics. And we came at it from 180 different degrees difference as we came to the same conclusion 35 years ago. And um, uh, I don't know, maybe six weeks ago was the first time that we were ever interviewed together in the same place. It was a studio, radio studio, so it was, it was very high quality. And the first hour is an interview of us and how we found out about epigenetics and so forth, or observations there. The second hour, uh, people called in and asked questions. And Bruce Lipton got his five minutes to tell him what to do, and I got my five minutes to tell him what to do. And so it's kind of a fun CD set, and it is available again. It's uh, epigenetics, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission, and the label on, on the disc, and there's two discs, it kind of looks like the book, epigenetics. Um, everybody needs to read the book and listen to the CD and use it as a tool, uh, education tool, it's tax deductible. The newest one um, is called the Wallach Corpus, the Wallach Corpus, C-O-R-P-U-S, and corpus in Latin, means body. Now, we're not talking about a dead body here. We're talking about a body of knowledge, okay? And I chose that name, the Wallach Corpus, to describe what was published in the fourth and fifth century BC by, by Hippocrates. It was called the Hippocrates Corpus. Now, before Hippocrates, there was no medical school. There were no medical schools. There um, wasn't any... Um, um, licenses you had to pay for to the Roman government or anything like that. Um, there was no licensed doctors. Grandma was an herbalist and there was some witch and that kind of stuff. And so Hippocrates decided it was time to codify things and get them into some organized fashion. And he published what he called the Hippocratic Corpus, which contained 50, no 60, 60 writings, six zero writings, 59 of which were cases types of diseases that he could guarantee you he could cure them. You know, things like goiter and that kind of stuff. So he had 59 of those. Number 60, 60 was the Hippocratic Oath, which all doctors have to take. Now, the original Hippocratic Oath, his oath was that patients and the other herbalists and witches that he taught what to do for those 59 diseases, they could not tell the new patient what it was. 
or the people who got cured couldn't tell anybody else what it was. They had to take an oath. You know, on my life, in my eyes, in front of God, I, I won't tell what I did to get rid of my disease so that the customers would keep coming back to Hippocrates. Okay, so that's how all that started. Well, the um, wallet corpus, I went through 53 years, 53 years of my publishing and um, works and cases, and I came up with 23 I think of the most spectacular, crazy cases. I mean, it's just, they're so outrageous, you can't believe them. I put them in there. It's a two one hour CDs that I did in Canada several years ago, and they got ready to publish them, and I forgot about it, and they just kind of published, they printed them, you know, off the original film, and just kind of hit them away, and nothing happened. So finally, I remember it's okay, you guys need to give me that stuff. And it's just outrageously wonderful stuff. But if over 53 years, these are the top 23, I mean, like the craziest things you've ever heard of, okay? Um, one of my favorites is a Canadian guy had dialysis. He was taking dialysis six days a week for 10 years because he hadn't urinated in 10 years. He, hadn't, he was on dialysis three days a week for 25 years. He didn't want to get a kidney transplant. And so when they came to me, uh, he was in big trouble, uh, not doing well. I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. And by then, I already knew what the cause of kidney failure was. It's not kidney failure. It's actually um, an artery problem. And the arteries are clogged, and the dirty blood can't get into the kidneys. So the blood test shows that the kidneys aren't um, filtering the blood. Well, that's not because the kidneys are bad. It's because they're not getting the dirty blood. So I gave him our approach to that. You know, get off all the bad foods, maximize absorption, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten. So we brought around oats, get rid of the gluten so you can absorb the nutrients. Your bill aisles to be there so you can absorb the nutrients. And I gave him, you know, the healthy brain and heart pack, um, one per hundred pounds of body weight. I gave him the ultimate daily classic tablets to get blood flowing through the blocked arteries and support healthy blood pressure because when the kidneys are not happy, they release a hormone called renin to raise blood pressure. You got to get more blood into the kidneys and um, gave him some anti-inflammatories and some MSM and stuff like that. Well, in two weeks time, he's urinating again after 10 years of not urinating. So they reduced the amount of dialysis from six days a week to three days a week. And in, in four more weeks, he's totally off of dialysis after 25 years. So, and I'm just giving you a kind of a two sentence version of the long version of that case. Another case was I had a wager with an eye surgeon. I was giving a lecture um, up in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, had, you know, maybe 50 people in the audience. I mean, we're talking 20 something years ago and maybe 50 people in the audience and uh, lecturing. And the first question when I turned it over to the audience to ask me questions after my lecture was a young fellow who said, my mother has been legally blind um, six years. You know, she's got a max regeneration. Is there anything you can do about this? I can reverse that. Guy jumps up in the back room and says, well, like you're a GD liar. I said, well, who are you? He says, well, I'm an eye surgeon. I diagnose hundreds of those every month. They never get well. There's no way you can reverse that. I said, well, let's have a wager here. He says, you're on. I said, bring me tomorrow 12 of your patients' charts that you've diagnosed. There's no question about the diagnoses. And I want them 6, 8, 10, 12 years legally blind. He says, you got it. So the next day, he brings me um, 27 charts. He says, pick your 12. I said, well, why pick 12? Let's take all 27. They're all legally blind, 6, 8, 10 years. And I said, the wager is if... I win if I can get all of these. He says, no, no, just let's just take one or two. If you can get one or two to be able to read um, 20, 20 in 90 days, you win the wager. He says, what's the wager? I said, okay, you have to pay for all their supplements if I win. He says, you're on. Um, you have to get me a very expensive bottle of red wine from France. He says, you're on. And I said, you're going to take me out to Ruth Chris's Steakhouse for a big steak dinner. He says, you're on. I said, but the biggest thing is, you're going to publicly apologize for calling me a GD liar. He says, you're on. Okay. So make a long story short, you know, I gave him the healthy brain and heart pack. I gave him the vision FX and the octative and got him off all the bad foods. Uh, got him on the ultimate daily classic tablets. And in 90 days, 25 of the 27 could read 2020. The other two took two more weeks and he paid off. Okay. Now the, the thing in public is me being able to say the story, okay, and tell the story. And um, let's see here, um, one other one, let me give you one other one. Uh, let's see, which one am I gonna give you? Ooh, 
Okay, let me let me give you one here where we're talking about Alzheimer's disease. This is a story about Ray McGregor. Um, Twenty five years ago, he was di um, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, and the uh, medical doctors gave him pharmaceuticals as they would for Alzheimer's disease. Over three years' time, he got worse and worse and worse. He went into a coma. After eight years of being in a coma, and I didn't know him yet, but eight years of being in a coma, his sister calls me and said, my brother's brain waves are at zero. He's been in a nursing home being fed uh, infamil, um, or insure, excuse me, insure, being fed insure through his G-tube twice a day for eight years. He's been unconscious in a coma, and his brain waves are about zero, and they're ready to pull the plug on him. And uh, she's, my brother's name is Ray McGregor in Charlotte, North Carolina, in, in the doctor's nursing home. Oh, okay. So what I want you to do here is get 90 days. He says, well, they, they, they just want to pull a plug. I said, well, you've been there for eight years paying them, and they're going to just pull the plug? No, ask them for 90 days. They said, okay, they'll give me 90 days. So what I want you to do is give him our healthy brain and heart pack, three full doses a day for three meals. Take the insurer away. I want you to um, give him... Uh, three lightly poached eggs whipped up and put into our shake, but make the shake with heavy cream instead of water. Okay, and give him three of those a day. Then I want him to have the Ultimate Daily Classic tablets and take three of those with each meal, you know, through the G-tube. And then remember, he's in a coma. And then I want him to have the de-stress capsules, three of those in each of those meals, and our Ultimate Niacin Plus, three of those in each meal, and our MSM ground up and three of those in each meal, because there's 10 different dementias and I was covering all dementias. To make a long story short, he says, call me every two weeks, let me know how he's doing, you got 90 days. She calls me in three days and she's wailing and crying and screaming, my brother Ray, my brother Ray, Ray McGregor, Ray McGregor, Ray McGregor. I said, uh oh, this doesn't sound good. I said, well, what's going on with your brother Ray? She says, well, he woke up this morning thinking he was only in bed and sleep one night. He didn't realize he's in a coma for eight years. He's just shoving everybody away. What are you doing here? Get away from me. And he goes back to work. He was an officer in a bank. He's a bank vice president. He goes back to work. And nobody there then were there when he went into the coma eight years earlier. They're all new employees. And they thought he was just some clever crook trying to come in and say, I'm a bank officer to rob the bank. Okay. So they called the cops. There was a big hoo-ha. <laughs> and so in three days' time, I had reversed his Alzheimer's disease, quote, unquote, that he'd had for 11 years, eight of which was in a coma in a nursing home. Now these cases, you know, I'm, I'm telling you the sharp version. I'm giving you the whole story in this two CD set called the Wallach Corpus. The, the two CDs are done. And um, uh, I'll tell you one more quick story. I think, yeah, I have time for one more quick story. Um, when, when I came back from Africa, after two years working on the white rhino conservation project, I caught 200 white rhino and sent them back to the zoos in America. And the, back then there was only 470 white rhinos left. I caught 200 of them. And now there's 25,000 left because we set up game parks just exclusively for them. And we have all these baby rhino all over the place since 1967, have babies every couple of years. So we're up to 25,000 now. So I'm very proud of that. Well, they called me back, Marlon Perkins, the old Mutual Omaha Wild Kingdom show, because I had worked for him. And he had gotten a grant using my first scientific publication when I was 21 years old, Mass Die Off in America, 500 died in one night, and I got it all published and everything from pollution. And he used that because he realized the importance of it more than I did. Um, in 1961, he got a, a $25 million grant for me to do pathology and animals that died in the zoos in the big cities using the zoo animals as a canary in the mine as an early warning signal for pollution awareness. He says, come back. You're going to be the pathologist on the project. And when I, he picks me up himself at the airport, I'm still got my suitcases in my hand. So Marlon per Perkin picks me up at the airport in St. Louis. He says, here's the list of what they want you to do. And I just put that on the seat. He says, now here's the list of what I want you to do. Marlon Perkins, he got the $25 million grant. So first thing on there was every bear in the world and every zoo in the world was dying of liver cancer. Polar bears, black bears, grizzly bears, uh, Kodiak bears, brown bears, um, panda bears, they're all dying of liver cancer. He says all the geneticists in the world are saying uh, that this is a genetic thing in bears, a common to bears, and when they're in the wild, you know, they had some kind of environmental protection when they got in the zoos, that bad gene is coming out and killing them all from liver cancer. He said, no, no. Uh, what are you feeding them? He says, well, they all get um, old bread and fish. 
old bread yeah you know it's old bread from the thrift stores you know when they have mold on it they can't sell it so we just take those three or four slices of bread with the mold on throw them away and give them the rest of the bread so they get three loaves of bread a day that's 4500 calories and they give them some fish and so they're happy i said okay uh, do you give them any vitamins and minerals no you know we just give them the um bread and the fish they eat whole fish you know out in the wild okay he said, well, have you ever heard of aspergillus? No. Well, aspergillus is bread mold. Bread mold is not penicillin. Aspergillus um, is a uh, bread mold, and it produces a, a toxin called aflatoxin, which causes liver cirrhosis. And if you're chronically getting this aflatoxin, it causes liver cancer. And so uh, you, this, you can actually tell if the bread is, is contaminated with aflatoxin because it will glow in the dark if you put UV light on. So before we go up to the zoo hospital where, he, where he's going to take me, he says, let's go by the barn where you're storing all this old bread and let's uh, take a, a um, UV light and black light from the, from the hospital, the zoo hospital. Let's go to the barn. So we go to the barn. We shut all the windows and doors. I turn on that black light and put on those loaves of bread. I mean, it glowed like 10 million tons of fireflies. I mean, it was glowing. I said, okay, all these are contaminated with aflatoxin. Let me see the peanuts that you pay or people pay to throw to the bears. And they're all contaminated. They're all glowing in the dark and everything. So here's a problem. So we got it published. We sent out the publication, all the zoos in the world. They began to, I said, feed them dog food. Just feed them dog food. Okay. Just make sure there's no oats or anything like that. Just feed them dry dog food. You can even mix canned dog food and dry dog food. You can throw a couple of fish in if you want. But make sure that they're not getting any of the old bread or any of the peanuts from people. And um, so in, in um, three months time, all the deaths from the liver cancers died and all the zoos in the world in six months time, totally gone. That was in 1967. There has never been another bear die of liver cancer since. We eliminated liver cancer in bears in just a couple of minutes when it had been going on for like 10, 12 years. So my question was at that time, my question still is today, how many poor people who live on the thrift store bread get liver cancer compared to a middle-class person who's buying freshly baked bread? I guarantee you the poor people getting the old thrift store bread are the ones with the liver cancer. My question is. Oh, you're breaking up or something. I don't know the if I did on something. your bread is okay. I'm sorry, say again? How many people were raised to believe like I was that a little bit of bald is okay? Well, everybody was told it was okay. Okay, That's... and well, you have to appreciate those doctors in those days, if they were saying things, well, they do still say stuff like that today. Oh, just eat well, don't take it, don't waste your money on any vitamins, no, just eat well, you get everything you need. Well, any doctor who says that, should be put in jail as being a serial killer because they're killing dozens and hundreds of their patients and their patients, relatives and everything. Because the patient will say, well, my doctor said you don't even have to, don't waste your money taking vitamins and minerals. You're just wasting your money. Just eat well, you get everything you need. You cannot get everything you need just by eating well. And that's of course why we came out with the book Immortality. Why were some cultures where the people living to be an average of 160 and 170 and 200 the oldest living people in modern times were living to be 260, 261, and it was published in the New York Times because they didn't believe it. So they sent their most uh, a vicious and aggressive um, uh, investigative reporter, James Hilton, to go investigate it. And he spent a year in China following a guy by the name of Dr. Li Chun Ying, or uh, Ying Ching, y Ying, y uh, let's see, Li Chin Yung, excuse me, Li Chin Yung, this uh, Chinese medical doctor. And he was uh, 265 years old, 263, something like that. And um, um, it was true. And so this guy, James Hilton, this investigative reporter, did a huge, big story. It was the whole front page of the New York Times back in 1928 or something like that. And then he wrote a, a best-selling book called Lost Horizon, which became a movie in 1933, Lost Horizon. And there was a, a um, kind of a province up around the Giltar Glacier between China and Pakistan where people live the longest. This Dr. Lee came from, and this province was called um, Shangri-La. You ever heard of Shangri-La? So he I took have. that province and he put it in the book as the place where people live forever. Okay, but he said it was a mythical place where people live forever. It was actually a place, but people didn't live forever. But they did live, live to be an average of 175 to 180, and the extreme ones lived to be over 200. 
okay? And so um, these are the sort of things that I've been working with and on forever. And of course, these things are um, in the um, uh, epigenetics CDs. These great details are in the uh, two new CD set called the Wallet Corpus, because if everybody were to put this stuff together, they would um, be able to save their families, save the world, save America, save their church, save everybody, and add 50 to 100 years to their life, healthful years. Okay, over to you. So, Dr. Wallach, I have a question kind of to touch mm -hmm. on something that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. With the kidney, kidney mm -hmm. failure, mm -hmm. why does it seem that so many people with type 2 diabetes experience liver failure? Or not liver, kidney. Sorry, kidney mm -hmm. failure. Okay. Well, first of all, you have to appreciate the type 2 diabetes makes up 98% of the diabetic population. It's a simple nutritional deficiency of either one or another. There's two different mineral deficiencies will cause type 2 diabetes. And some people, they have both deficiencies, right? They, they have what's called brittle diabetes then. You know, they get their feet amputated and they go blind and all that kind of stuff. But remember that the disease that results in kidney dialysis, they call it kidney failure because the blood test shows the kidney is not... Um, dealing with the um, filtration of the blood. So the kidney is releasing a hormone okay, called renin, which drives the blood pressure up. Right. Okay. Okay. So all this stuff is going on, but it's a, you know, people are never deficient in one nutrient. If you're deficient, you're going to be deficient in three or five or eight or 10. And that's why people over age 60 have five and eight and 10 and 12 and 15 and 20 different pre-existing conditions obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, um, COPD, um, they have uh, uh, atrial fibrillation, you know, all this stuff. And you say, well, why do you have so many things? Do you have bad genes in your family? No, you know, I'm 75 years old. My doctor says these are just part of growing old. You're gonna get these things. No, that's crap all of science. That is not true. Those things are all nutritional deficiencies and are occurring because they've been eating gluten all their life and their villi go away. They don't have any absorptive surface in their intestines anymore. Even if you supplement, you're not going to get it. Right. Okay. So type two diabetes. And of course I love the ones. These are the ones I love. This is a criminal thing by doctors. Also, the guy goes into the doctor's man, I'm really feeling bad. And he does the blood test. Oh, well, you got diabetes. Your blood sugar is like 300. It should be below 90. And um, he said, I'll, I'll, you know, get right your prescription for a pill. And so uh, he gets the pills. He takes them. And he takes them every day, and every day his blood sugar is 300, 300, 300, and the pills aren't working. He says, well, these pills aren't working. He says, you probably have type 1 diabetes coming to the office. You go to the office, and he gives you an injection of insulin. Three minutes later, your blood sugar is 90. He says, yeah, you're type 1 diabetic. Well, that doctor should go to jail. Type 1 diabetics are only ones that are born with it. It's a birth defect caused by mama missing stuff, okay, when the um, um, beta cells in the islands of Langerhan are forming that make insulin. They don't have insulin when they're born and they have type one diabetes. When you're 65 years old and you're diagnosed with diabetes and you don't respond to the oral medication, that means all your villi are gone, you're not absorbing the medication. So you go to the office, the doctor sticks you with insulin right away, boom, your blood sugar drops, he says, see you're a type one diabetic. He puts you on insulin for the rest of your life, okay? Then you die of um, all kinds of other problems caused by the insulin and so forth. And, and he gets a walk. Well, he should be put in jail for being a mass murderer and serial killer because he's giving misinformation to get the money to put his three sons through college. That's a shame. That's a shame. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. Okay, now I have a family. Mom Congratulations. And dad. Okay, so <laughs> I know of a family, but yes, I have a very large family. But I know of a family um dad actually is a foreman at an organic farm mom and dad both have underactive thyroids they both have um ra conditions rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis conditions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. their daughter who's only 11 years old who has been or she's 13 now is very active in wrestling even represented our state here um has been diagnosed with Hashimoto's and has a lot of joint- Which is a thyroid, which is thyroid stuff. Yep, again, thyroid, um, and has been hospitalized for so many different things. It just breaks mm -hmm. my heart, 
Dr. Wallach, what is going on? Okay, well, this is very simple stuff. Okay, you have to appreciate that um, low functioning thyroid is due to absence of nutrients, okay? Your thyroid requires all 90 essential nutrients, just like all the other tissues of your body. And there's a long story that goes along with that, but you have to get the, the two CD set epigenetics and the two CD set the Wallach corpus to get the long story. The short story is um, they got to get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, brown, and oats. They need to get rid of, of cruciferous vegetables because of the thyroid issue. No cruciferous vegetables specifically, which damage the thyroid. Uh, and result in a pressure on the thyroid. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, brussels sprout, and kale, they're called cruciferous vegetables. All that's gotta go forever. No cheat day per month, anything like that. And then um, they, the uh, adults need to get two healthy brain and heart packs per month, okay? Full dose of everything twice a day. They need the ocean's gold, three of those twice a day to specifically give nutrients for the thyroid gland. For the rheumatoid arthritis, well, let me throw in, they need also MSM, they need MSM, uh, three of those, um, three times a day, it'll be two bottles a month of the MSM to rebuild cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc, between vertebrae. They also need our collagen. They can get either the glucogel, two servings a day, our um, collagen peptides, okay, which are made from fish and poultry and sheep and beef. Our glucogel is just made from beef. I take two servings of the glucogel a day, and I take one serving of the collagen peptides a day. I take three of the MSM, three of those three times a day. I only weigh 142. And I wrestled at 120 for the University of Missouri. So I'm on the same thinking as them. And uh, let's see here. I talked about the ocean's gold. I talked about this, that, and the other. Oh, now for the rheumatoid arthritis thing, I see now everything that I gave there is going to get rid of the arthritis, get rid of the thyroid problems. But the rheumatoid piece is a second disease. It's a infection on top of the damaged minerally deficient arthritis joints. It's an infection with a bug called mycoplasma. And there is an antibody called minocycline, which they will have to get a prescription from their doctor for six weeks for minocycline, two or three, depending on the dosage, two or three um, doses a day of the, of the minocycline, okay? And it'll kill the mycoplasma and they're taking all these nutrients and getting rid of the gluten out of their diet so they can absorb everything and the supplements will, will give the body what it needs to repair and end the arthritis thing. And the minocycline prescription will kill the mycoplasma bug that all goes away. The thyroid stuff goes away. And they'll all be perfectly normal. Hmm. That's fantastic. I'm gonna share hmm. this recording with her so that she okay. can hear it directly from you. And one fabulous thing that I love about our co-host Johnny is he's like Johnny on the spot on getting these recordings up on askdoclive.com. Um, and you can go there to review all of our Ask Doc Live recordings um, that we've been doing over the last couple of months. So please feel free to recommend Ask Doc Live to others also. Um, where they can get information in regards to empowering themselves through nutrition and Dr. Wallach's recommendations. 53 years, Dr. Wallach, that's like older than me. Not by much, <laughs> that's older than me. That's, that's amazing, I love it. I love Thank it. you. Um, I, so we've got lots of hands up. I've got some comments, I've got lots of emails. Let's get to it. Let's go for it, girl. All right. So first, I am going to call on Brian, who has his hand up. Brian, go ahead and unmute yourself. I just sent you a request. You are on live with Dr. Wallach. Well, good morning, Dr. Wallach. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Uh, I am 57 years old, um, five feet four, about 135. Uh, in my mid 40s, I started developing plaque psoriasis and it was just a little patch here and there nothing you know mm -hmm. major but the last three to four years it's really start breaking out okay well let me ask you a couple of questions do you have any other issues any diabetes or high blood pressure no okay do you have any arthritis no okay do you have any ringing in the ears do you have that tinnitus that tone the noise 
No. Any any dizziness or balance problems? I have other issues, but not the one you mentioned. Okay, what other issues? Well, when I was a teenager, I was uh, the, the doctor told me I have hepatitis B, mm -hmm. which means I can't use any kind of biologic for the psoriasis. Um, okay, 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 stop. Okay, I got it. All right, and you weigh 135 pounds. Okay, now psoriasis is a, is a simple nutritional deficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need you to get rid of all the bad foods so you can absorb the nutrients. This is a big clumsy nutrient, very difficult to absorb under ideal circumstances, okay? So get your pen and paper ready. No fried foods, no processed meats, no um, processed meats of any kind with nitrates in them, okay? Um, no, uh, absolutely no oils of any kind, no oils of any kind, especially extra, 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 virgin, 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 virgin olive oil, no oils of any kind, okay? You cannot have fried rice because it's cooked in oil, right? None of that kind of stuff. And then no gluten, no wheat, no barley, no rye and oats. You cannot have a cheat day, no wheat, no barley, rye and oats. You will die early if you keep eating wheat, barley, rye and oats. No wheat, no barley, rye and oats. Everybody in your household, including the dog and the cat and the bird and the fish and spouse and renters and roommates and kids, everybody's got to give up gluten. No wheat, no barley, rye and oats and no sugar. Then at 135 pounds, I want you to get one healthy brain and heart pack per month. Get another bottle of arselenium. It has to be arselenium because we have five specific cofactors in there that's going to help your skin. Okay, and our selenium. All of the selenium in the market is just selenium. So you, you want to get our selenium because our healthy bone, um, excuse me, our healthy brain and heart pack has one bottle of selenium in it because I want you to take three twice a day, so it'll require the two bottles. Then I also want you to get our MSM. Okay, I want you to take three of those twice a day. That's one bottle a month. I want you to take um, our glucogel, okay, which is a beef collagen. It's beef. You can take... Um, Five of those twice a day, one bottle a month, I think will cover that, uh, our glucogel. And then, um, let's see here. Mm, we have a product called Hair, Skin, and Nails. I want you to take um, three of those twice a day, be two bottles a month. And your psoriasis will go away in two to four weeks. I don't care if you've had it for 50 years, it'll go away in two to four weeks as soon as your intestines heal so it can maximize absorption because you got to regrow those villi to maximize absorption. And the psoriasis goes away. It's a very simple nutritional deficiency. And of course, if you have a lot of people who get diagnosed with lupus, your doctors say, you might have lupus here, okay, because you got all this connective tissue stuff going on in your joints. And then you got the skin issue, you know, they get the rosacea and, and the psoriasis on the face, and they get the, all the connective tissue stuff, they got lupus. Well, it's not an autoimmune disease, it's just a simple nutritional deficiency because all those villi are gone cannot absorb. So call us every couple of weeks. You're going to be a great testimony because all your problems are going to go away. Okay. Uh, okay. Rebecca, you. next. <laughs> so D Dr. Wallach, I have mm -hmm. an email here mm -hmm. and the individual is wanting to know what do you recommend for allergic rhinitis with so much mucus in the back of the nose? The mm -hmm. 54 year old female five foot nine inches tall and 125 pounds. Well, she's skinny, okay? Thin. Yeah, very thin. Okay, so um, got to get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens that we brought around oats. She needs to have one healthy brain and heart pack per month and a bottle of our selenium. So you can take three of those twice a day, a half of those, everything else twice a day. She needs to take uh, one bottle a month of our uh, MSM. So you can take three of those twice a day. I also want her to have a couple of anti-inflammatories. She needs to take our pollen burst. I like the blueberry flavor because it's got the SOD in it, superoxide dismutase, great antioxidant and also anti-inflammatory. I also wanted to have the Cell Shield RTQ. She can take three of those twice a day, it's two bottles a month. And um, give us a, a call every two weeks, you know, on the program, on the Zoom uh, or email, let us know how it's going because this kind of goes away very quickly. Um, these things, occur all this mucus and stuff in the respiratory system is due again to nutritional deficiencies because they're eating gluten and those villi go away and so you get all this mucus and stuff in the nasal stuff okay and that's all part of the uh, gluten issue all right thank you so much mm -hmm. and i just want to let everybody know that all of the products that dr wallach is recommending today can be found at asdoclive.com 
if you would like some help ordering and you are brand new to trying Dr. Wallach's products, we do have a call team that is standing by to assist you. They can be reached at 855-949-7234. And I love the fact that I have two of my co-hosts are part of that call team. Um, so we've got some amazing people that are there. Okay, so also, uh, Rebecca, they can also ask for the book and the CD Epigenetics. Yeah. They can also ask for the CD set called the Wallet Corpus with all these great cases in there and, you know, what supplements to give uh, for those things. And so they can, when they put in their order for their products, they can talk to these people who are on the call team uh, to get the uh, books and the CDs and things like that. That's and, right. Um, and if they do this as a business, guess what? They get to write off the expenses of the books as a, as a tool. So it's a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. And they, in their business plan, they can say that their young duty business will pay for their health insurance and also supply them with vitamins and minerals as a benefit to them from the company. And that's all tax deductible then. Would you look at that? They pay the wholesale price and I pay the shipping if they get on auto ship. That's right. I, yeah, Jevity is incredible, Dr. Rollick, because mm -hmm. they even have healthcare benefits. Thank People you. People are interested in looking into that as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and you can, yeah, the call team can help you with ordering any of Dr. Wallach's publications. We also have them on askdoclive.com or the ones that we don't have Dr. Wallach has on his own website at www.drjwallach, that's W-A-L-L-A-C-H.com, Dr drjwallach.com. Hey, you're pretty good. Oh, you know how many times I have people <laughs> say that website doesn't work and it's like, well, what are you typing in? And they spell your last name wrong. After 53 mm. years, Dr. Wallach, <laughs> we got to get this right. All right. So next, um, Jean has a question. She's 77 years old. She's 180 pounds at five foot four. Her fingertips have longitudinal ridges that are splitting at the ends. She also has bad hearing and glaucoma, and she's from Nevada, Dr. Wallach. What can you recommend for her? Okay, well, it's 77 years old, right? 77, did she say? Yeah. Yes, sir. And, she, well, and she's got this stuff going on with her vision, right, and hearing. Yes. yes. Okay, and so, well, and then she's got all this stuff going on in her fingertips. Well, guess what? She's got osteoporosis of the skull, squeezing the, the, the 12 pairs of cranial nerves, ONA, optic nerve atrophy. The skull is squeezing that. Um, when you get osteoporosis of the skull, the normal skull is a quarter of an inch thick in a human being. When you have osteoporosis, your skull gets a, an inch or inch and a half thick. And all these tunnels that these 12 pairs of cranial nerves are forming the brain to go through to go outside and do things and get squeezed and so you get all these ringing in the ears and the gradual loss of vision and so forth it's all osteoporosis of the skull you can get rapid heart rate tachycardia or atrial fibrillation where the skull is squeezing the 10th cranial nerve the vagus nerve which controls the rate and rhythm of the heart you can also the skull will squeeze the spinal cord as it comes out of the back of the skull most people don't realize it but your spinal cord is formed in the brain comes out of the back of the skull and the skull squeezes it, you get all this stuff going on in your shoulders and your arms and your wrists. And they say, oh, you have carpal tunnel syndrome. And, um, you know, you, you have bad genes and that's why your fingertips are splitting and all that. No, it's because your skull is squeezing your spinal cord. And you essentially have sciatica of your shoulder girdle and your arms, just like you have down in your lower back and your legs. Okay, so when I get rid of all the bad foods, you maximize absorption, get those villi growing back so you can absorb no bad foods and uh, including the gluten, no wheat, brown, and oat, live like an Asian, sweet potatoes and rice, no fried rice. And then um, she only weighs, uh, she, she weighed 180 pounds, 190 pounds. 180. 180, okay. Regardless of her height, she got to go by body weight. She needs two healthy brain and heart packs per month, full dose everything twice a day. She needs two bottles a month of the MSM, so you can take three with each meal. Okay, to regrow cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone, makes your bone itself, including the skull here. Okay, and the skull will shrink back down to normal, take all the pressure off the nerves and spinal cord. And I've seen people respond in just a couple of weeks, but it's, you know, it, it might take three months to get complete healing. 
but they're going to show a benefit in just a couple of weeks here uh, because your body responds very quickly to getting the nutrients and, and getting rid of the problems that re result in lack of absorption of the nutrients. So no, these things go away pretty quickly. All right. Thank you so much. So let's go to Corey, who has their hand up. Corey, I just sent you a request to unmute yourself. Go ahead and accept that. You okay. are on live with Dr. Wallach. Okay, I, I, can, I unmuted myself already. Thank you. Uh, okay. My question is for my husband. He's 83 years old. He's 160. He has a pacemaker and has had a um, major heart attack some time back. But now they found a growth on his liver and his condition is just getting, he's getting weaker and weaker and we've gotten tests done and tests done. And- Well, stop, so stop, stop. Do they say what this quote growth unquote on the liver is? Is it a cancer? Is it, is it benign or what is it? They haven't said yet. Mm -hmm. We've just, uh, they haven't done anything other than the CT scan and we've got another test coming up, but no biopsies or anything. It's okay. assumed. Okay. And so, and he weighs what again? 160. He's 160. Okay. Okay. Now, does he have white, gray, or silver hair? Yes. Okay. Does he have um, any tinnitus or ringing in the ears? No. Does he have blood pressure issues or diabetes? He had diabetes up until uh, we changed his diet about six months ago, and he's not taking insulin anymore. Um, okay. Congratulations. Okay, and again, he weighs 160. 160, okay, here we go. No bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brown, rye, and oats, and no sugar. And then I want him to, 160, I want him to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month. I want him to get another bottle of Slim. Now, one bottle of Slim comes with each of those healthy brain and heart packs, but the best friend for your liver, the best friend if you have any malignancies, which we don't know yet, but certainly best friend for his liver, is that our selenium with these four other factors we put in there, um, so I want him to get another bottle of selenium because I want him to take three selenium with each meal, nine a day. I take nine a day and I only weigh 142. And <clears throat> I want him to uh, also, as you say, uh, take um, um, two healthy brain and heart packs per month, take three doses of the selenium a day, three with each meal. I want to take the MSM, uh, three of those with each meal. So that's two bottles a month of the MSM. I want to take the ultimate daily classic tablets, take three of those twice a day has two bottles a month. They'll support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow through blocked arteries. If he doesn't have diabetes anymore, he won't need you know, our, you know, our stuff for that. But if he does have prediabetes still or anything going on with blood sugar, I'd have him get our um, sweeties. He could take three of those twice a day, sweeties, and uh, you know, make sure he's checking his blood sugar a couple of times a week and see where that's at. And um, uh, all this stuff will go away now. Uh, he has white, gray, and silver hair, right? Yeah, he, and he has uh, celiac. He's gluten well, intolerant. Well, there you go. That's why he's got to get rid of gluten. I mean, you got to get rid yeah. of gluten. So yes, you have, have white hair too. Okay. Yes. Because now the same thing, the same deficiency that causes white or silver or gray hair also causes uh, varicose veins, hemorrhoids. Does he have varicose veins or hemorrhoids? No. Okay. Do you have varicose veins or hemorrhoids? No. Okay. Do you have white hair? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm just testing your honesty because I can see the white hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, just like Rebecca, her hair color is coming back. Your hair color will come back. His hair color will come back. When your hair color starts coming back, you know you're absorbing th these nutrients again, and you know you're healing on the inside. Okay. When your hair color starts coming back, it always starts at the nape of the neck and kind of goes up over the top. So you can check each other, you know, every couple of days and see how, it, it, when the hair color starts coming back in, usually it takes two to four weeks. If you're really good about giving up the gluten and taking your supplements, the hair color will start coming back in about two to four weeks. So you know all the good stuff is happening on the inside as well. Okay. Okay. And Thank give me a call. So every, you bet. Give me a call every couple of weeks and, uh, on the Zoom here and okay. give us a report because your story, your testimony is going to save a lot of people's lives. And we appreciate it in advance. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Corey. Next, Dr. Wallach, it was actually the next comment and actually the next person with their hand up. And that's a sin, a sin. Go ahead and unmute yourself. You've got, you've got a new one. So I, love, I wanna hear Dr. Wallach's answer on this for sure. Uh, thank you for connecting me. Uh, mm -hmm. Best regards, Dr. Wallach. Uh, Wallach, my case is about my 
a uh, little, it, she's not baby anymore, but one year old baby girl from a vegan mother. My wife was a vegan. Mm-hmm. She weighs now for a one year old, a 15 pounds height, 2.4 feet. Uh, when she was born, she had two vaccines. And after a week, she had a painful eating. Uh, even from her birth, she was uh, very hypotonic and she missing, she's missing some inborn reflexes, like uh, keeping her head up. She, okay. okay, let me ask you a question here. Does she have any anemia? Is she anemic? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Does she have diabetes? Uh, we was told that she had some gestational diabetes uh, of the mother, but we're okay. not sure about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, does this baby have any liver issues or lung issues? We don't know. We we have. Oh just... yeah. I mean, if the baby's coughing and having trouble breathing, that's a lung issue. You, you'll know. Yeah, she she has some uh, partially diaphragm uh, paralysis. Hernia. Uh, 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 okay, diaphragmatic paralysis. Yes, but partially, oh. okay. partially, and uh, uh, she's not uh, keeping her head up. Lack of control mm-hmm. of her mm-hmm. head. Okay. Now, okay. How how is she with her fingers and her hands? Can she do things with her fingers and hands well? Yeah. Uh, you you mean her nails? No, I just want to know. Can her does her muscles function in her fingers and hands? No, no. When I when I uh, give her. Uh, my fingers, she keeps them, and she uh, she's very mm-hmm. strong. Okay. Actually, she yeah. a okay. Lot of, uh, okay. And you say she weighs fifteen pounds, one five pounds. Yes, one five okay. pounds. Yeah. Okay. What I want her to do is get the kids toddy, or the whole family, including you and your wife, and the dog and the cat and grandma and everybody else, have got to be gluten free. Now, if your your wife is a vegan, she's yeah. eating a lot of grain. Well, she's got to eat like an Asian. She's got to eat rice and sweet potatoes. She cannot be eating wheat, barley, rye, or oats. No wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Yeah, this yeah, baby yeah. cannot have wheat, barley, rye, oats. You cannot have wheat, barley, rye, oats. Your bro- your dog and your cat cannot have wheat, barley, rye, oats. Grandma cannot have wheat, barley, rye, oats. No wheat, barley, rye, oats in the house. The kid cannot have it. And then I want her to, uh, again, the baby's got to eat like a Asian, rice and sweet potatoes and vegetables and fish and poultry and red meat. But also... Um, want her to take what we call our kids toddy. It's a liquid multiple supplement and the dosage is right on the label. You just read the label and give her, you know, uh, that liquid supplement, very easy for her to take. But I also want her to have our EFAs. Our EFAs are gluten-free. They're the omega-3 essential fatty acids. They're packed in a soft shell capsule with nitrogen in them so they won't oxidize. I want her to have two of those capsules a day. You're gonna have to, pump, if she won't swallow them, you know, they're about the size of a jelly bean. They're soft shell, and, she, and some kids just like chewing them up. But if she doesn't want to do that, you can puncture the capsule and stick them in the liquid kids' toddy, and then let her take, you know, two doses a day of the kids' toddy. And um, let's see here. Mm. Let me. See. Yeah, let's let's start there with the kids' toddy. And we do have a liquid calcium. You can also get our liquid calcium or cal toddy, and give her that, and, and the dose based on body weight. Okay, just follow the dosage on the label for her body weight. So you're gonna have to cut the dosage way down. It might be a half a teaspoon twice a day, you know, of the of the um, cal toddy for the extra calcium. And then um, I want you to call us every, uh, you know, two weeks and give us this uh, report on her weight, her activity and so just, forth. Just to, to finish, when we started with uh, keto diet, she just uh, get rid of uh, myoclonic seizures. So. Mm-hmm. She, she has some, uh, actually she has a severe dysbiosis and leaky gut. Yes, I, yeah, I understand. Well, leak, well, that's the celiac disease causing all that. She's got to get the leaky gut, celiac disease. She's got, she cannot even say the word gluten. Yeah. Okay, get yeah. off the gluten. Yeah, no, we're not giving uh, it any gluten, no wheat, no oats, yeah, that is for sure. Well, 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 she's getting it somewhere because that's why she has celiac disease. Yeah. She's getting it somewhere. If I come, I see if some guy told me that, let me just stop a minute. One guy told me once, I have no gluten in my house. I have no gluten in my house. I said, okay, let's sign a contract here. I'll come to your house. I'll go through your whole house. And for every source of gluten I find in your house, will you pay me 
a hundred dollars. He says, you're on. And we signed this contract. He says, when do we make an appointment? Oh, we're going now. I'm not going to give you a week to clean up. We're going there now together. So they go to his house. He had to pay me twelve hundred dollars because they found twelve sources of gluten in the house, which he didn't think he had in there. I bet he remembered after having to pay me twelve hundred dollars, but I added fifty years to his life. Okay, so go and read the labels. Don't make me come to your house and have to pay me a hundred bucks for every source of gluten I find in there. Okay, all right. And okay. what would you what would you make of this uh, high alpha one? Uh, antitrypsin, EL17, and low transferrin. Low what? Transferrin, low transferrin. Oh, low transferrin. Yeah, transferrin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your bone marrow makes all this stuff, okay? Your, your nerves make all this stuff. And so they require raw materials to do it. Your, her body is not getting anything she needs because her villi are all gone. She can't absorb anything. She's not getting the 90 cents of nutrients because the mother was eating gluten, the baby was born damaged, the baby's intestines were damaged when the baby was born because the mom was eating gluten all through the whole pregnancy because she's a vegan, mm. okay? But you, th you believe that we can change it, right? Of course, it's reversible, but you're gonna have to be aggressive and mama's gonna have to give up her eating ways. Mm. She's gonna have to change. She doesn't yeah, but... have to eat meat, but she does have to eat eggs. The mother's got to eat eggs, the baby's got to eat eggs. Mm. Okay, she can be an, an ovo lacto vegetarian, but she cannot eat wheat, barley, rye, or oats. She cannot drink wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Well, they say that she has some atrophy in the brain, but it's Well, that's different. because she can't make any tissues because she can't absorb nutrients. It's not a genetic thing. Fire the doctor. Okay, get the mother out to change her diet and get everybody in the household on a nutritional program. It all goes away. Mm. If you keep following their instructions, you'll be burying your child. Okay, we will, definitely. Okay, call us and let us know how it goes because if you get on this aggressively, you'll save everybody in the household. If you don't do this aggressively, you'll be burying everybody in the household. Salam alaikum. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Yeah, I'm not Turkish, oh. but anyway, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I wish all the best. I will get back to you every week if I am able and uh, Rebecca allows us. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, so Dr. Wellick, that, that leads me to a story I heard yesterday from your daughter-in-law. And okay. the first time that you visited her and your son, and she was at work and she came home to her cupboards being empty because you took everything out of them that had gluten. I thought that was just- crazy. Well, yeah, you, you know, you have to get aggressive here if you're gonna save people. This is that important. You have to remember, um, we have the most expensive healthcare system in the world. We spend more money for healthcare than all the 270 nations of the world combined. Every year we spend more money than all of them combined. Our average lifespan is 75 point something or other. These third world countries that don't have doctors, they don't have health insurance, they don't have prescription pharmaceuticals, they don't have pharmacies, and their average lifespan is 180. Makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, now we know it's not genetic because when their cousins leave these third world cultures up near the Giltar Glacier between Pakistan and China, and they go to England, their average lifespan is 60 eating the English diet with all the gluten. You understand what I'm saying? So they can't say, well, that's a genetic difference. No, 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 no. It's diet and supplements because they're getting all these minerals from the Giltar Glacier grinding up the walls of the canyons that this goes through with all the minerals. Yeah, it's, it's incredible what yeah. just changing your diet can do either good or bad. And we list, all, yeah, we list all the long-lived cultures in here and tell you what it is they're getting that you're not getting and how they get it. Of course, you're not going to be able to, you, you, and that's what makes our products different. We have the plant minerals in there, okay? And even our salt in our savor division, our spice division, our salt has 84 minerals in it because it's from the Himalayan mountains. It's pink Himalayan salt. When the oceans dried up there and all the minerals in the ocean and all the salt in the ocean filled up the valleys, we have 
which I say put a lock on that, we have an endless source of this pink Himalayan salt with 84 minerals in it, which used to be an ocean. Okay, nothing we do is without minerals because minerals are two thirds of the 90 essential nutrients. Minerals are the secret of life. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so I have a just a general question that came in as an email, Dr. Wallach, um, wanting to know how to address heart plaque buildup. Okay, that's very easy. When you have heart plaque buildup, you have coronary artery disease, okay? You have plaque in your brain, you have plaque in your kidneys, you have plaque in your legs, you have plaque in your arms, you have plaque everywhere. It's not just in your, your um, heart, but your heart's gonna show something spectacular. You're gonna have a heart attack, okay? Um, when you have plaque in your brain, you may have a slow loss of some memory. Um, you have plaque in your kidneys, your blood pressure goes up a little bit at first before you have to get on dialysis. And those things are dealable. You can treat the symptoms with a pharmaceutical. When you have a heart attack and people kind of wake up and say, wait, there's something serious here. What do I do? Okay. Well, you got to get rid of all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no oils, no glutens, no oils, no glutens, no oils, no glutens, no fried foods. And I'll tell you a quick story here. Um, gosh, this has got to be 12, 15 years ago. I ran into two sheep. Uh, that were sent to me, okay? And these stories are in great detail in the uh, Wallach corpus, okay? These two sheep were sent to me. Uh, they had died. They were from the Atlas Mountains of Africa. These are wild sheep. From, and they'd only been in captivity in America in a zoo for two months. And they died. And I autopsied them. They both died from 98% blockage of their coronary arteries with plaque. And where are they getting their cholesterol? They're not eating eggs, they're sheep. They're not eating meat, they're sheep. Where are they getting their cholesterol? So I asked the keepers, what are you feeding these guys? Well, we gave them grass clippings from the zoo and hay. Well, okay, what else? Should, well, uh, we had you know some mixed grain and a 55 gallon drum in the barn. We gave them that. Well, how long had that 55 gallon drum been in the barn? We'd been in there for two years, we never used it. And so it came time and when the sheep came, we gave it to them, uh, you know, a cup full each every day. And so, um, well, what kind of grain? Well, it's a mixed grain. It had corn and wheat and oats and stuff like that. Okay. And was it a metal barn or a wood barn? Oh, it was a metal barn. Well, what was the temperature? Well, the temperature every summer would go up to 120 in that barn for three months in a row. Okay. It oxidized all the wheat germ oil and the trans fats, heterocycamines, and acrylamides and caused a plaque in the arteries of those two sheep. Now, here comes the funny part of the deal. I mean, I was so excited. I got this all written up, said I'm finally going to be able to show you know, humanity is something here that's going to save their life. So I got this all written up and, and, and submitted to JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, and to the Cardiac um, Association's journal, uh, the, the Cardiac, uh, the Heart Society. And they rejected, say, well, those are animals. They can't have a genetic human disease. So you, you must be faking that wallet. You know, they've been against me all the time anyway for 53 years. And so I sent it to the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association and they called the medical guys. They said, well, that's no, we've already talked to Wallach. He's faking it. That can't be right. So they said, sorry, we can't publish it. Well, I finally got it published in a Danish pathology journal. <laughs> so it is published. Okay. But they, they were eating oxidized oils. And that's what gave them the plaque in their coronary arteries. It is not a genetic thing. It is not cholesterol. Cholesterol is your best friend. 95% of the weight of testosterone and estrogen is cholesterol. 71% of your brain weight is cholesterol. When you go on a cholesterol restricted diet and you take statin drugs to lower your cholesterol, guess what you're gonna get? You'll never remember what I say because you're gonna get Alzheimer's disease and you'll have uh, the need for Viagra. <laughs> well, that's a perfect lead in because I get a lot of questions in regards to why is Dr. Wallach so against bottled oils? And okay. it's because of the oxidation. That's correct. Because it turns into trans fats, heterocycamines. And those are the things that cause the plaque in your arteries. It's not cholesterol. Cholesterol does not cause plaque in the arteries. Cholesterol is not found in the plaque in the arteries. Cholesterol does not cause heart disease. That belief came into play about 60 years ago. It came into play 60 years ago. Okay. And they came up with statin drugs to dampen down cholesterol because they thought cholesterol was the cause of all this plaque in the artery stuff. Well, I came along. One of the first things that I found was 
that um, cholesterol has nothing to do with the diseases doctors said we're having to do with it. I'm finding all these heart diseases and all these different animals in the zoo and everything and publishing it. And so I, I knew all that back in uh, 1967 when I started that project at the uh, Washington University, the Center for the Biology of Natural Systems. I did 20,000 autopsies in 10 years, published, okay, uh, it's published. And of course, uh, my thesis um, for those 20,000 autopsies in the Smithsonian Institute is a national treasure because I showed there were no genetically transmitted diseases. And my 20,000 autopsies, 454 species of animals plus humans. And um, my thesis is in the Smithsonian Institute. You can go to Siri and say, are there any of Dr. Wallach's book, in which they put hard cover, I made a textbook called Diseases of Exotic Animals. It began as 5,000 pages and they edited it down to 1,200 pages. And if you can get one beat up and the cover is torn off, you might be able to get it for 450 to 1,000 bucks. If you get it in acceptable, good condition with a cover on it, It'll be 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 12,000 dollars, depending on how many scrawlings they have in the margins and stuff like that. If you buy it new in the box still, because they published 30,000 copies, they sold in six months, they had to make another 30,000 copies. The new ones in the box, still in the wrapper, sell for 25,000 to 35,000 dollars each. Now, I'm not saying that to brag, I'm telling you that because of the credibility of the science. Yeah. I don't know okay. anybody. Is there anybody that's done as many autopsies, period, human, animal, as you? Not any good guys. Not any good guys. All right. Yeah, there were some <laughs> bad guys in history that uh, did a lot of autopsies, um, but um, I'm the only good guy who, on a grant from the National Institutes of Health, NIH, $25 million grant, this was gotten by Marlon Perkins from the old Mutual Omaha Wild Kingdom show, because he used my first scientific publication when I was 21 years old, where I did this autopsy project when 500 died in one night. And I figured out why they died and how they died and everything. And I got it published in two journals, two scientific journals. I was only 21 years old. I was still wow. a student. Still a student. Well, I am a student. I will continue to be a student of yours, <laughs> Dr. Wallach. I learn something new all the time. I love it. And I love that I'm able to pass what I learn on to others um, to help them regain health. It's just, I love the calls. When I had, I had a yeah, gentleman- People are wonderful. Day, yeah. I had a gentleman the other day call and left me a message. He's like, Ms. Rebecca, I don't know what nutrients doing it, but I'm driving right now and I can see and I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so I'm like, well, it's all of them working together synergistically yeah. in your body because your body needs them all. Yep. So it's, it's just amazing. We are at the top of the hour. We're going to take a quick five minute break or so. Thank you everybody for joining us here with Ask Doc Live and we will be right back. I'll be back. Thank you everybody for sticking with us as we have our break. Dr. Wallach will be back with us shortly. I just wanna thank everybody again for joining us here on Ask Doc Live. And all of the information that you're hearing today is for informational purposes only. As you've heard, this is coming from 53 years of research and putting his own nutritional advice into practice in his own clinics as a real naturopathic doctor. He has not always been a veterinarian. Um, I know that the medical world, did, they weren't accepting what he was saying. So he went back to school to become a naturopathic doctor. So I just, I appreciate all of the dedication that Dr. Wallach has put into getting this information out to us. Um, I know it has saved so many lives and given people their lives back as far as even just mobility and thought has been incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love it. All of the information that you're hearing here today 
for the products, you can find them at askdoclive.com. If you are a first time user or try, um, just getting started in with what Longevity has to offer, we do have a call team that's available, 855-949-2000. Three, four, and mention that you heard about us here from the Ask Doc Live um, program. So they they know that we are actually sending people to them. Um, but as soon as Dr. Wallet gets back, then we will go ahead and get started again. Again, if you have questions, you can raise your hand just click on the participants at the bottom of this of your zoom app screen and you will see the option to raise hand you can also um, click your or put right into the chat information but raising your hand is actually the best because dr wallach i'm then back question specific welcome back dr wallach all right, well, next, let's go to Charles, who has his hand up and waiting patiently. Charles, go ahead and accept the invitation to unmute that I just sent you, if you would. And you are on live with Dr. Wallach. Yes, I called a couple of weeks ago and um, I went over my issues and uh, my GFR was like 14 and Dr. Wallach said that I needed to follow his program to the detail and I did and for the last three weeks I have and I went back to see my kidney doctor and in my GFR went from 14 up to 17 where it was before and uh, I have a couple of things I want to let you know I don't also make blood and um, my my issue was I okay. Was, well, stop there a minute. Stop there a minute. Sure. Are you getting transfusions every month, or iron shots, or B12 shots? How's your doctor dealing with you? Quote I, not making blood. Unquote. I get Procrit when I need it, so I was getting it first to like every week, mm -hmm. and then uh, I went. Then it went to every month, mm -hmm. and then I started taking your supplements, mm -hmm. and then. I've gone out just recently to three three months, and then mm -hmm. I just got shot last Good. Friday. And okay, well, let me just let me just say something there before you go on. Um, and the reason why you're responding is because when people have osteoporosis, their bone marrow cavity fills up with scar tissue and fat, and they can't make red blood cells. You're, that's where your red blood cells are made inside your bone marrow. You can't make um, white blood cells. Your white blood cell count is down. You can't make platelets. Did you ever, you know, when you shave, you nick yourself, you have bleeding, or did you get bruising under your skin any place or anything like that? No, mm -hmm. no, I don't. Okay. okay, well, that'll show that you weren't making any platelets if you start getting bruising under the skin. And then, of course, um, this is why people who are in their 60s and 70s and 80s, they have terrible side effects when they get the COVID stuff, or they might even die because um, they can't make any antibodies which are made in the bone marrow. You can't make white blood cells, which are made in the bone marrow, to go kill the virus. And that's why three-year-olds that haven't been eating gluten for 60 years, they get three days worth of a common cold-like symptom, and they're okay. And yeah, so let me, I... Let me oh, see. Yeah. I, I do get bruises easy on my arms. Mm -hmm. Is that... Yeah. Yeah. That's because, that's because you have a platelet issue because your bone marrow... Uh, needs repairing also so you really need to stay away from the gluten everybody in your household needs to stay away from gluten so those villi will grow back so you have all that extra absorptive surface in the intestines and your hair color will come back okay you'll have whatever your original hair color was blonde or red or brown or black it was dark brown but it's actually mm -hmm. coming back because i've been mm -hmm. on the 90 minerals and 90 uh, for how long your start pack for about six months well there you go but yeah doing the I wasn't following the gluten issue you must follow the gluten issue right but um if you have any gluten at home don't say well I'll just eat it and then I won't buy any more what you want to do is box it up and give it to your doctor yeah the other say, I don't want to throw it away but I'm not gonna eat this stuff anymore so since you were telling me a lot of whole grains here either you take it or give it to your kids or something because I'm not gonna eat it anymore Right. Another issue was when I was in the hospital the first time and they said I had a spinal infection and they gave me these antibiotics 
and immediately I couldn't eat. So for 42 days, I had no food and I mm -hmm. lost all my muscle. I couldn't get mm -hmm. off the floor if I had to. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. to crawl up things. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, I'm, I'm back, I'm strong, I'm working all the time okay. now. Okay, good. But I'm not like I used to be. Well, you have to appreciate when a doctor doesn't know something, they'll just give you antibiotics. And if you have a nutritional deficiency disease, are the antibiotics gonna help you? No. And that's why you got worse because you had a nutritional deficiency problem. You didn't have an infection. You had osteoporosis, which includes, you know, your vertebrae in your back and degenerative disc disease. And have you shrunk any in height since you were 20 years old? Have you shrunk a half an inch Three or an inch? Inches. Three, Three inches. inches. Well, there you go. That's why you had a back problem, not because you had an infection in your back. So your doctor should be put in jail, okay, for abuse. But at any rate, thank you for sharing that. Wait, and wait, it I, sounds like you're going in the right direction. Well, I'm not sure, but what do I do with the blood issue? What, how do I cure that? Stay away from gluten. Uh, how much do you weigh now? 184. Okay, 100, 184. I want you to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month. You know, use the biggest hammer in our toolbox. Take two healthy brain and heart packs per month. The full dose of everything twice a day. I want you to get our MSM. Take two bottles of those a month. Take three of those three times a day, three with each meal. MSM. Yeah. Take our vitamin D3. Take three of those three times a day. There's three bottles a month. I'm doing and, that. And our collagen, or I take um, uh, five of the glucogel or beef collagen twice a day, and I take uh, a serving of the collagen peptides, which is from fish and poultry and sheep and beef. I take that in the middle of the day. And um, in six months time, I'll be um, 82 years old. Okay. And so I've, I've been doing this for 72 years, twice a day. And most people think I'm in my 50s, okay, because I can still whoop up on people. You know, I spent a lot of time. I've spent 27 years in the military, seven years in the Army, and 20 years in the Air Force. And I wrestled at the university and so forth. And so uh, I'm in very good shape. I'm very, very um, capable of uh, caring for myself and defending myself. And again, most people think because I can lift heavy weights and move and, you know, don't have any problems with any of my bones or joints or anything like that. I only have one tooth lost, and that's because I was in a fight, and the other guy lost all his teeth. I only lost one of mine in the fight because 27 years in the military, I can handle myself, right? And so at any rate, um, it, it's this sort of thing. Uh, I have so many people who've been with me for 30 years. They look like they're 40 years old and they're 80. They look like they're 40. They don't have any wrinkles. They have their original hair color. Um, they go out and play tennis and golf, and they bowl and all this kind of stuff. They're 80-something years old, and um, it's an amazing thing. And so, um, I, you know, I do radio twice a day um, from noon to two Pacific time and uh, let's play doctor and dead doctors don't lie. And it actually goes dead doctors don't lie and then let's play doctor. Been doing it for uh, almost 30 years and these people have been with me for a long time. And they've been taking, they have literally tens of thousands of associates and customers that they um, provide programs to because people look at them and say, you can't have done all that. You're only 40 years old. And they'll laugh. They say, 40, I'm 80. What do you mean? You look like you're 40. You don't have any wrinkles. Did you have a facelift? No, never had any surgery. Okay, so it's amazing. I mean, your hair color will come back. You'll look 25 years younger. Okay, are you married? No. Okay, well, watch it. Because when your hair color comes back and you look like you're 40, all these women are going to start chasing you. Well, it's about time. <laughs> okay. and anyhow i wanted to tell you i take that um ultimate daily classic immortalium mm -hmm. the start pack and a kidney tincture that's what i got from the salesperson okay that's good that's good but throw the msm in there don't forget the msm and the well, and i do, do that i got msm okay. also okay okay good all right the yeah. ultimate daily classic tablets you need that for circulation in your brain and your heart and your kidneys Ultimate Daily Classic okay. Tablets, take three of those twice a day. And a lot of people, they'll get the right thing, but they say, well, I'm just going to take one. This is a bottle of 60 that'll last me two months. Well, you're not going to get the benefit. It's kind of like your tire says 32 pounds. If you only put three pounds of air in there, you're going to down the highway and wear your tire out going around the block. Okay. And so you have to take the proper dosage of everything and uh, you'll, you'll be a miracle man. Thank you, sir. We'll hear, look forward to hearing from you on a regular basis. Your testimony is going to be uh, uh, saving a lot of fellows. Okay, thank you very much. Th thank you, sir. Thank you, Charles. All right. 
Um, so Dr. Wallach, Jana is writing and her husband is 68 years old, 181 pounds, five foot seven. He tore a muscle in his arm in a work-related accident. So he had to, of course, go to the medical community, um, which didn't do much good for him. She wants to know what can they do nutritionally to help get his arm back to normal. Okay, now, see, I don't know, it tore his muscle. Did it tear in half? Tore a and muscle in the arm. It does I not understand. I understand. It doesn't say it was torn in half and had to have surgery to put it back together, or it was, you know, three times as long because it was torn but didn't quite break, or, you know, I don't know. Let's okay. see if but, we can get that answer. Okay. So, but anyway, Gianna, if you can unmute yourself, that would be fantastic to answer that question. Yes, go ahead, Gianna. Yep. Hello. Um, it was not torn to the point of surgery. It's just um, stretched. Um, stretched. Yes, doctor. Okay. And um, like um, just uh, okay. the ligaments. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. So it's more of a ligament, tendon, cartilage problem than it is a muscle problem, really. And so does he have any other issues? Any high blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis? No, um, he did have high blood pressure, but he started doing what you said, and that mm. has come way down. Okay, good. It's Thank you for that. Yes. Does he have any white, gray, or silver hair? Yes, loss of hair and white hair. Okay. Does he have any uh, tinnitus or ringing in the ears? You know that, does he ever complain about that tone in his ear? It, yes, but it, he started again doing what you say, <laughs> and it's been going, but if we gluten, then it's, then it's back. If he, okay is up on gluten then it's back okay now does he have a death wish <laughs> no <laughs> okay well he's got to give up gluten because yep. sometimes you get a ruptured aneurysm from a deficiency the same deficiency that causes white grain and silver hair will cause aneurysms and you're doing um, great and everything's going good and you just don't wake up the next morning they do an autopsy oh i had a ruptured aneurysm in his aorta and he bled to death in three seconds while he was sleeping okay and so He's getting all these early warning signals and he's trying to, you know, fudge and cheat the system by going back and eating a bagel or Wheaties for breakfast or something. Uh, he's got to give up gluten. You've got to give up gluten. The dog and the cat got to give up gluten. If you have grandkids, they cannot come to the house uh, after they had oatmeal for breakfast that morning until you hose them down in the yard so I don't cross contaminate them. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All Thank right. You. Fantastic. So, Dr. Wallach, a quick question, mm -hmm. and I know it's been a couple weeks since this was actually mentioned, um, but Mark would like to know, you say no fried foods. Um, is the new air fryer okay? They just got an Instapot. No. And the reason why the air fryer is not okay is even though it's not using oil, it's frying the fat in the meat in the fish. It's heating the fat and the meat and the fish to frying temperatures, which turns them into trans fats, heterocycamines, acrylamides. So you're still going to get the bad stuff without the oil. So um, it, it was kind of a, a good idea that was bad. Okay. Um, as far as cleanliness in the house is good. But if you have a uh, one of these uh, air fryers or whatever you call them, uh, what I want you to do is be sure you be, start a longevity business and then give it to your doctor, you know, and write it off as a donation to your or payment to the doctor. And that way it's a tax deductible thing. And give it to the doctor and let's see how he does on it. Doc, it's Nasima here. What about popcorn? Is this, <laughs> is this the beautiful Nasima? <laughs> is that the one and only Dr. <laughs> Joe Wallach? He is. Okay. Uh, what well, about popcorn? popcorn? Air pop popcorn is okay. okay. Okay, but you can't have popcorn that's popped in even butter because it heats the fat too hot. Okay, okay. butter and oils, no butter oils for popcorn, but the air pop is fine. Okay. Thank you, Doc. We'll have to watch a movie and have some air pop popcorn. There you go. <laughs> see, then you can, then see, after you pop it, you can melt the butter on it. Just put the butter on okay. it. Okay. That's fine, but you Great can't, idea. you can't pop the popcorn in butter. But we're going to slowly, gently melt that butter and then smother <laughs> it Woo! and then put some mineral salt. Absolutely. Like it's called our pink, our, our pink Himalayan salt from our, our um, savor division. Oh, you know what? We have so many wonderful savor spices. 
Mm -hmm. um, there's several of them that I'll put over popcorn, like our our uh, California onion mix. Oh, oh yeah. Sprinkled over oh, people popcorn. love yeah. People love that one. They like to mix it with the rice also. Yeah, I put it on our cod yesterday. Very Woo. oh, so good. Um, okay, let's stop talking about food. I'm hungry. <laughs> Next, we have Linda with her hand up. Linda, go ahead and unmute yourself. You are on live with Dr. Wallace. Hi, Dr. Wallace. Hi, how can we help you, dear? Well, I have two problems, one for my dad and one for me. I'm at stage five kidney failure from high blood pressure. Stop. I'm... Okay, okay. Are, you on di are you on dialysis? Yes and no, because uh, um, I'm doing the fluids in the stomach, but I have too many scar tissues. So they're gonna switch me over to doing the blood. Okay, and how much do you weigh? 195. And how tall are you? 5'4", overweight. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I'd say, you know, it might be 60 pounds, uh, 40, 50, 60 pounds overweight, depending on, you know, your, your body form and so forth. And um, you have high blood pressure, right? Do you have diabetes? No. Okay, good. Do you have arthritis, anything like that? Um, I have lupus, but it hasn't really bothered me lately. Oh, you have rosacea? Is, is, is that makeup? You have a little pink cheeks or? Yes, I have rosacea. Okay. Now, are you coloring your hair? Or are you wearing a wig or is that your hair color? No, that's my hair, my natural hair colors. So I don't do chemicals. Okay, good. All right. So are you weigh 190 pounds? 95. 195. Okay. So just for that, Okay, I want you to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month. You gotta get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat brought around, no sugar. I want you to eat like an Asian. You wanna have rice and sweet potatoes and vegetables and fish and poultry and red meat, okay? Okay. And then I want you to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose of everything twice a day. I want you also to get our um, keto caramel shake and our keto caramel meal bar. I want you to have two meals a day, a keto meal. You'll lose a half a pound or two pounds a day. You cannot take the shake and the um, bar at the same meal. That'll be too much, you, one or the other. And you don't have to take them at the same meals every day. If you're really busy, you know, grab one of the bars, okay, and eat it while you're driving. Uh, if you have a lot of time, you can go ahead and make the shake and have that. And, you know, one day, as I say, I like to do it, say, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, you have a, a breakfast, and a dinner uh, with a keto meal. And then um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, um, you have a, a shake with breakfast and a meal bar at dinner time. And on Sunday, um, you can have two meals with, with a shake or something like that. So you have a system, okay? And then um, the second is my father. Oh, He's wait a minute, one more thing, oh. because you have the kidney issue. Do you have high blood pressure along with the kidney issue? Yes. Okay. Well, I want you to take three of the Ultimate Daily Classic tablets three times a day. All right. That'll be three, three times a day, Ultimate Daily Classic tablets. So that's three bottles a month. And that will support healthy blood pressure very quickly. Within weeks, your blood pressure will come down. And again, I've had people that haven't urinated in 10 years or on dialysis six days a week. And just in two weeks time, they're urinating with that Ultimate Daily Classic tablets in the 90. And um, so very quickly, um, your blood pressure comes down. And the odds are, after a, pe a period of four, six weeks, you won't need dialysis. That was, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then my father, he's 90 years old, and he's losing his memory. He doesn't have Alzheimer's. But the other day, I was driving him to the doctors, and he says, where are we going? I said, Dad, mm -hmm. I'm taking you to your doctor. So his memory is starting to get bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there's 10 different dementias. So I always treat for all 10. They always go away then, because I always treat for all 10. Okay. Okay. And one of my great stories uh, about Ray McGregor, you know, who was in a coma. I don't know if you heard that earlier yes, when we I started did. here. Yeah. Okay. That Ray McGregor story. He was in a coma for eight years with, quote, Alzheimer's disease, but I treated him for all 10. And in three days' time, he gets up and goes back to work after 10 years of being in a coma. Okay. Because I treated for all 10 dimensions. I didn't just treat for Alzheimer's disease. Okay. So your dad, he weighs 195 pounds. No, he weighs about 165. 165. And he's, he's six foot okay. tall. Okay. So does he have any other issues? Does he have any high blood pressure or diabetes? No, but his, his GFR has gone down. 
but that was because he was taking some type of um, prescription um, mm -hmm. that had the, the, the kidneys didn't like. Yeah, so he's off oh. of that. Okay, okay, here we go. 65. I want him to take exactly what you're taking and eating, okay? No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brought around oats, no sugar. I also want him to have two healthy brain and heart packs a month, a full dose of everything twice a day. I want okay. him to take the I want him to take the ultimate daily classic tablets, three of those three times a day. That's three bottles a month. And that's going to help with one type of dementia. I want him also to have, um, let's see here. I want him to take a, um, uh, one of those shakes a day, one of our shakes a day. Okay, so every day he's going to have one of our keto shakes. And I want him to make it with heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. Okay. Okay. I want, as, I want as much dairy fat in there as you can get to help him rebuild the brain. Then I want him also to have the de-stress capsules. I want to have three of those twice a day. That's two bottles a month. I want to have one of the ultimate niacin plus um, three times a day, one, one, and one. Okay. That'll be one bottle a month. I, okay. I'm sorry. It'd be two times a day. So it'll be one bottle a month, one at breakfast, one at dinner time, the ultimate niacin plus. And let's see here. Uh, I said the ultimate daily classic. He needs three eggs twice a day with soft yolks, three eggs twice a day with soft yolks. And he needs the MSM. I want him to have the MSM, three of those twice a day is one bottle a month. And his dementia will go away, well, no matter which one or ones it is. There's no rule that says you can't have two or three or five or all eight or 10, okay? But we're giving him a program for all of them so they all go away. All right, fantastic. So next, Dr. Wallach, let's go to Deanne, who has her hand up in line waiting to speak with you. Deanne, go ahead. You're on live with Dr. Wallach. Okay. Hi. Um, hi. I am, hi, I'm 58 years old and I've got uh, like a list of things that's wrong. First of all, I do have tinnitus and my hair is gray. But when I was 32, I developed diabetes insipidus from a pituitary inflammation or something. And did okay taking my DDAVP for several years and then um, have developed um, arthritis. Um, lately, I've gotten uveitis. I also have myasthenia gravis. Um, you look at me and I don't look that like that decrepit, you know, but um, pretty, you know. How much do you weigh? Much. How much do you weigh? Well, okay. At the beginning of the pandemic, I was about 237, 240, and I've dropped down to like 172. I think okay, it's from not How tall are you? How tall are you? Um, five, three and a half. Yeah, five, three and a half. I'd like to see you weigh 125, something like that. And so you're okay. maybe close to 50 pounds overweight. So again, you got to get rid of all the bad foods. Okay, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brought around, no so sugar. I want you to take uh, two of our keto meals a day. It doesn't matter which ones, you know, which meals, uh, either the bar or the shake. And, and some days you can have a, a, a shake with one meal and a bar with the other meal. Another day you can have a meal uh, two meals a day with a bar at each meal kind of thing. Um, and then uh, I want you also to take this, the sweeties, take three of our sweeties twice a day. Okay. So that's going to help you with blood sugar issues and reactive hypoglycemia and narcolepsy and all that kind of junk. And then I also want you to take the ultimate daily classic tablets, three of those twice a day. It'll be two bottles a month of that to support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow into the kidney. So healthy kidney function. And then I want you to take our MSM, take three of those twice a day, that's one bottle a month, and that's going to help support maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone makes your bone itself. And um, the tinnitus will go away. The um, hair color will come back. And when you have gray hair, white or silver hair, the same deficiency that causes that loss of hair color causes all these breakdowns of connective tissue, um, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, walls of arteries. Do you have any varicose veins or spider veins or anything like that in your legs? No, I, no, I don't have anything like that. And on the sweeties, I don't have sugar diabetes. I have the diabetes insipidus from the pituitary gland that doesn't make vasopressin. I have the water diabetes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It's well, not I, sugar I, diabetes. Okay. So instead of taking the sweeties, go ahead and take our HGH. Yeah, get a bottle of our HGH and take five of those twice a day. It's the okay. specific food for a pituitary gland. Okay. Okay. HGH. Okay. 
And when you're doing a search for that HGH on any of the websites, it's H period G period H period, or you can just search for youth complex. It's amazing stuff. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. That's what okay. I do. And I have, I have a question. So like olive oil is completely, you know, out because I'm great. Yes. So yes. olive oil is out. Now, if you have any olive oil left, don't waste it. Don't throw it away. Box it up with a beautiful ribbon and give it to your doctor. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, thank you. You bet. Okay. Awesome. All right, Dr. Wallach, let's go to McQueen, who has his hand up. Go ahead, McQueen. Is this Steve? Okay, let's go. Let's go somewhere else and come back. All right. Let's go to Mr. Neal. Robert, go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay. Have a great report for us. Well, actually, yeah. Um, uh, I'm taking the sweeties and things. I really appreciate Dr. Wallach. That's why I kind of signed up with um, a, a distributor. But uh, I'm calling today because I uh, was delighted to hear uh, Rebecca talking about a guy driving and he could see. <laughs> I thought that was neat. Uh, I can uh, drive real good, but I can't read books without glasses these little mm -hmm. dollar store things i want these to go away okay okay so let's stop there stop there okay okay now now what what's your what's the eye doctor say about your eyes Do you have glaucoma does he give you eye drops to reduce pressure you know dr wallet that's kind of funny because like another person talking about pre um uh this virus thing it, it, okay it's a one it's a one word answer yes or no I probably do. You're taking drops. You're taking drops in your eyes now. No, no, I'm not. Okay. No. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Are, okay. Are, are, were you diagnosed with cataracts? No. Okay. Were you diagnosed with macular degeneration? You know, I haven't okay. looked at that stop. sheet for, for a year. Stop. Right? Okay, okay. Stop. Okay. Those are the three most common diseases that will result in needing to change your eyeglasses prescription. Okay. Okay. And I have won so many wagers with eye doctors. Okay. Now here's the deal. Okay. Do you have any tinnitus? Do you have any ringing in the ears? Any of that yep. tone? Yep. Okay. I already know your answer. You have ONA, optic nerve atrophy. The optic nerve is the second cranial nerve. When you have osteoporosis of the skull. Okay. All the 12 pairs of cranial nerves are being squeezed as the skull gets thicker and filling up those tunnels that those nerves go through and you get a gradual loss of vision. And so people keep saying, boy, I had to get new glasses every six months. My vision kept getting worse and worse. Okay. You know, I don't have glaucoma. I don't have any pressure in my eye. I don't have cataracts. I don't have macular degeneration. When a doctor feels like he's not getting the maximum benefit from the patient, uh -huh. he will say you have macular degeneration. You have to come in you know, once a quarter so I can check and see what's going on here. Oh, we okay. got to increase your prescription here. But he also gets the office call and he, you know, he, he's hoping he'll find that the pressure goes up and he'll get, okay. And, you know, again, um, I tell the story where I won this um, wager with the eye doctor. Um, he gave me 27 of his charts to make a long story short of people who'd been in his practice, his patients that he diagnosed with macular degeneration. And they had been legally blind six, eight, 10 years. And I gave them the program with the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, the Osteo uh, FX, uh, the Vision FX, uh, the um, Occutive, the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets, and, um, uh, and getting rid of all the bad foods, fried foods, processed meats, oils, and glutens. Okay. And in, in 90 days, all of them could read 2020 without glasses, okay? It, and they've been legally blind six, eight, 10 years. That's and he's incredible. the one that made the diagnoses, okay? And that's because they didn't have any of those diseases that he wrote on their prescription pad. What they had was ONA, optic nerve atrophy, and I treated him for that. And the skull goes back to normal, takes the pressure off the nerve, and the vision comes back. Wow. And so you'll know when it's getting better when that ringing in your ear goes away because that's the squeezing in the auditory branch okay. of the eighth cranial nerve when you have the tinnitus, okay? So right. give us a call every couple of weeks and give us a report and we'll, you're real, going to save a lot of people. Real quick, um, mm -hmm. what can I do to work on these bags under my eyeballs? 
MSM. MSM. Okay. Yep. Take at least three twice a day. What do you weigh? Um, 195, six feet tall. Yeah, I'd go with three twice a day. Start out there, you know, in addition to your 90 and all this other stuff you're taking, Ultimate Daily Classic and, and so forth. But the MSM is going to help you uh, with the skull as well as um, uh, with skin issues and bags under the eyes and so forth. Okay. Appreciate you much. God bless. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And again, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Ask Doc Live. I am Rebecca Kozak coming to you at, with my co-hosts, Jaunty McCall, your Ruth Ellen Sanchez, Nasima Omar, and of course, the amazing Dr. Joel Wallach. Now, Dr. Wallach, we have somebody that has emailed in, and it's a 67-year-old female. She has a history of lung cancer, had lung cancer. Um, she has no type of kidney problems or urinary tract infections, but she's experienced vag vaginal bleeding um, and they're giving her estrogen cream, but she's, she's afraid to take it. Mm -hmm. What would your recommendations be? Okay, then, Apol yeah, like apologies. What does she weigh again? Thinning of the hair. She didn't say, so let's just okay. base it on a hundred pounds. Okay, let's go for a hundred pounds of body weight. Yeah. And so I'm assuming they've taken pap smears and all that kind of stuff and they've ruled out, you know, vaginal cancer and cervical cancer and all this kind of stuff. Cause that would be, they'd be glad to see that cause you know, then they're running through the process, right? Right. And so um, uh, it's not unusual that uh, people, and we don't know, does she have varicose veins? Does she have hemorrhoids? Uh, that kind of stuff. She does so, not say. It does not say. And people think, well, I'm getting old, you know, I stand on my feet behind the, you know, my desk all day. And so that, or the counter all day, that's why I have varicose veins. No, it's because the same reason you have white hair, it's a deficiency of a particular nutrient. Okay, so um, absolutely no, none of the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brown, rhinos, no sugar. And then she weighs 100 and... Let's just say... We're going to go by 100. Okay, okay. Let's say per 100 pounds of body weight, per 100 pounds of body weight, be one healthy brain and heart pack per month. And if she only weighs 110, 120, I'd get another bottle of our selenium, not only for the selenium, but the cofactors that are in there because the mineral that's missing that causes the white hair and breakage of, of connective tissue, including in the walls of the vagina and the cervix and the uterus and all this kind of stuff, um, it will, will cause these problems, the same deficiency. And so, um, need to um, take, again, one healthy brain and heart pack per 100 pounds of body weight, get that extra bottle of Slim so she could take three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. <clears throat> and I'd like her to get the MSM. Go ahead and take three of those with each meal. That'll be three, three times a day. That's two bottles a month of the MSM to help rebuild cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between vertebrae, bone, makes your bone cell and walls of arteries and, and even it'll take the wrinkles out of the skin. It'll make you look 40 years younger, you know, which you look a lot younger than you are because you take our stuff and the skin requires stuff to make these elastic fibers. So you don't look like you're 70 years old or 60 years old. You want to be, you want to be 80 and look like you're 40. Okay. And so we do this all the time, but, um, this is, uh, I believe, an easy thing to resolve, um, but we do, it wouldn't hurt next time she goes in, she can ask for an ultrasound to see if she has urinary bladder uh, stones or kidney stones or anything like that. I wouldn't get an x-ray, but she can get an ultrasound, which has no radiation, to see if she has any stones in her bladder or kidneys. <clears throat> All right, excellent, excellent. Um, and Deanne had another question. Um, she wants to know if she should take anything for the uvatus that she's recently developed. And again, how much MSM did you recommend for her per day? Okay, well, MSM would be three twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. It's one bottle a month per 100 pounds of body weight, three twice a day. The uveitis is pronounced correctly. Uveitis, okay, is the sort of place in the eye where the optic nerve goes in and it's all very sensitive part of the back of the eye kind of thing, the uvea. Okay, and itis means inflammation. And so do they, do they really have that? And the doctor's trying to explain why they're losing their vision. It really has ONA and op, you know, an osteoporosis of the skull and um, squeezing the second cranial nerve, which is the optic nerve and causing the problem. 
and also it squeezes that artery that goes into the back of the eye because it forms in the brain, goes through the skull to the back of the eye and can cause all kinds of inflammation in the eye just from ONA, optic nerve atrophy, because uh, you have osteoporosis of the skull. So that's one of the things we, I think we discussed that with her. Um, and so um, the MSM um, and of course anti-inflammatories for the eye wouldn't hurt to take the Vision FX three of those twice a day. And I, I don't remember if we talked to her about that, but uh, MSM, uh, the um, Vision FX and also the Occutive. Well, one of those twice a day, you need two bottles a month because they only come 30 in a bottle. All right, excellent, excellent. Um, so I have another question that's been emailed in Dr. Wallach. Mm -hmm. And I know the answer to this, but let's let you give the answer. They would like to know if wheat germ can be used as a nutritional supplement. Well, no, you can't use anything from wheat. You shouldn't even say the word, okay? Uh, if you're gonna drink beer, you gotta drink Japanese and Korean and Chinese beer made from rice. No breakfast of champions, no oatmeal, no cream of wheat, okay? No oats, uh, no, um, you can't have uh, things like um, pancakes and waffles. You can't go to the spaghetti factory three nights a week and all that kind of stuff. Because even if you just take the germ out, Okay, it's still going to be contaminated. I guarantee you, there's no way they can take that out without contaminating it with uh, gluten. Right. Awesome. So I just want everybody to know you do not have to be a medical professional of any magnitude to be part of Dr. Wallach's Warriors. Um, see, I totally butchered that that term, that the disease. And uh, Dr. Wallach knew exactly what I was talking about. So we encourage any of you, if you've ever thought of being able to be part of our longevity family and share information with people, um, we have some amazing training programs that can help you get started with that. If you're interested, just go to askdoclive.com and click contact us. And you can put in the subject line business opportunity or even do a reply to your invitation to this show today. Um, and we will have somebody get back with you. So again, we thank you so much for being part of our Ask Doc Live program. And Dr. Wallach, I have some, a gentleman who um, says that I've had, and I'm going to butcher this one, <laughs> rocketocytis for several years now. I'm I sorry, back, have, back up, back up and say it again. Is it bronchiectasitis? I don't know if he spelled it right either. Bronchi bronchiectasis? Rocketocytis. That's it. Okay. That's the word. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I have prostate cancer that I've chosen to fight naturally with organic juicing, no sugars, no meats, an occasional wild caught fish, um, no processed foods or dairy. My focus is to build my immune system back to optimal health. Can you help me? I have a nebulizer that I use colloidal silver in. And have you ever had a reversing of this Bronchiectasis. Well, bronchiectasis, of course, is due to nutritional deficiencies. Is bronchiectasis okay? Got it. And um, yeah, it's one of those things where um, um, what happens is your bronchi and your lungs begin to contract. Okay, they get smaller and get inflamed. Okay, and so um, did she say how much she weighed? No. No, it doesn't say how much she weighs, but he does go on to. It says P.S. Also, any suggestions on what I could substitute for coaches oats oatmeal in the morning that oh. I've been combining with <laughs> flax seed, powdered chia seeds, and hemp seeds with raw organic fruit? Okay, the raw organic fruit is good. Okay, the hemp seeds are probably okay. We sell a lot of hemp products ourselves in our hemp FX division. And then um, it needs to go with rice and sweet potatoes, okay? replace anything with wheat, barley, rye, or oats in it. Okay. Okay, rice and sweet potatoes. No fried rice, anything else. Wild rice, brown rice, red rice, yellow rice, white rice, but no fried rice. And then per 100 pounds of body weight is one healthy brain and heart pack per month, one healthy brain and heart pack per month. And there's two particular 
supplements in that program. There's, I mean, I think there's 10 or 12 in there, uh, different products, but there's two of them, the EFA and the EFA pluses. I take three of each of those twice a day. And this guy will be able to take three of those of each of those twice a day. Okay. And that's the stuff that's missing the results in the bronchiectasis. But he also needs the MSM per hundred pounds of body weight, three twice a day, this one bottle a month. Okay. And, um, I would also take the uh, oxybody, so liquid oxybody. You can take an ounce twice a day, be two quarts a month of our oxybody, and uh, get some oxygen flowing around in there and help there. And uh, digestion issues, I'd go ahead with the ultimate enzymes. You could take one or two of those, say um, two to five minutes for each meal with a couple ounces of water. But um, this guy really, really needs to have eggs. Okay, he didn't say he couldn't have eggs, did he? No, he didn't say he didn't, couldn't have eggs, but he is doing no meats except for the wild, occasional wild caught fish. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I would make sure he's eating um, a couple of eggs twice a day with soft yolks, not fried, not cooked in oils. But he also is gonna need our Zara test, X-E-R-A-T-E-S-T, X-E-R-A-T-E-S-T. TEST. Now that's the raw materials for the Sertoli cells in the testicle to make testosterone. Okay. And so with his diet, there ain't going to be nobody home there anymore. Okay. And so he's got to take that if he wants to have any kind of um, relationship. All right. Um, so now Jana had a follow-up question. You had mentioned to take MSM for her husband's arm where he had the, the stretched or torn muscle. Mm -hmm. Um, if we get totally off gluten, then the MSM will work better to help heal the arm. Is that, that's correct, right? That's, that's correct. Yeah. And then next question is, can quinoa be used instead of oatmeal? Can what? Quinoa. So it's, it's a grain, but it is gluten-free. It's high mm -hmm. in protein. Yeah, yeah, quinoa is probably okay. I'll look it up again, but you know, I don't hear any trouble with quinoa. All right. No, no wheat, no barley, no wheat, no barley, rye, or oats, rice, buckwheat, that kind of stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can get McQueen's audio to work again. So McQueen, if you can unmute yourself, let's see if we can hear you. And while you're doing that, um, I have another question for you, Dr. Wallach. Um, and it has to do with, you had mentioned something earlier about how the normal brain is only a quarter inch thick. And when you have- No, a, no, a normal skull. Skull, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. See, all these years, you're on top of it. So the, <laughs> the normal skull, quarter inch thick. And when you have mm -hmm. osteoporosis of the skull- It gets an inch much, thick. Yeah, it's much thicker. So, you know, being thick brain is not a good thing or a thick skull. <laughs> Sorry, thick skull thick is skull not, is a good not thing. good. Yeah. See, see, they knew when people had a thick skull, it was dealing with all those nerves and everything, and they had behavioral problems. And so they said, Man, you have a thick skull. You're not learning anything. You're not remembering anything. You're having all these problems. You have a thick skull. Well, that's where they get that from because, you know, we've known um, since I think it was 18. 1815, this guy, he was a pathologist in London. He began to do autopsies on people with memory problems and also all these uh, peripheral neuropathies and weird things that they could diagnose, you know, in the late middle 1800s. He was noticing that the people with all these problems had this thick skull. And he published that and that got to be newspaper stories back then. And so it's, it's like, it's not nothing new, but people have forgotten that because they have all these pharmaceuticals and doctors don't want to mess with that. They just want to write your prescription, come in in 10 days again, write your prescription, come in in 10 days again. Right. That's how they pay for their kids tuition for college. So now what would, what causes the thickening of the skull then? Is it because the, the cells are like not compact and together like no this no no that. no no okay when you have a normal bone 85 percent of the bone weight and mass is connective tissue it's called bone matrix mm -hmm. it's the same stuff that tendons and ligaments are made out of 
when you begin to lose minerals, you're getting osteoporosis, you're losing minerals, your bones don't like that because they're feeling pressure from weight and movement and stuff like that. So it begins to build more bone matrix to try and attract more minerals. Say, well, maybe we don't have enough bone matrix here. So the bones make more bone matrix. And so your bone, your skull gets an inch, inch and a half thick, squeezes the brain, squeezes the 12 pairs of cranial nerves, squeezes the spinal cords that goes out the other end. And you can get rid of all the neurologists, eye doctors, hearing doctors, um, balance doctors, hearing aid doctors, dentists, because if you get osteoporosis of the skull, you lose your teeth. And when, when a 16 year old has uh, osteoporosis of the skull, who's the first doctor he's gonna see? The dentist. An uh, orthodontist for braces to straighten up his teeth because suddenly now all their teeth are doing all these weird things because the skull is getting thicker with connective tissue but not minerals. And so the teeth are just beginning to wander around looking for a home. Interesting, that's interesting. Well, I'm glad I was not thick skulled enough to not listen to you. Because <laughs> osteoporosis of the whole entire body was one of my big issues. Yeah, let's see. Well, there you go. And so you have to appreciate that medical doctors never tell their patients about osteoporosis of the skull because their tennis partner or their golf buddy um, is a neurologist. <laughs> have a question. Well, not okay. a question, just a statement. Regarding going back to the quinoa, mm -hmm. technically it's a seed or a fruit. Technically it's a fruit seed and it's referred to as a grain, but it's not a grain. It's a seed from a fruit. Yeah. Okay. So it's gluten-free. If it's a seed from a fruit, it's gluten-free. Thank you. That's one of the 10 million reasons I love you. You're not only beautiful, you're smart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nathina. <laughs> All right, so um, McQueen, if you were to say something right now, let's see if we can hear you. Nope, still can't hear well, McQueen. Well, Steve died a long time ago. Maybe well, it's his ghost. Or Junior, <laughs> you never know, you never know. Um, so I have another question in regards to migraines, Dr. Wallach. Does that come into the whole, osteoporosis and one of the side effects is that as well? Osteoporosis skull can certainly contribute to migraines because when the skull gets an inch thick, inch and a half thick, the foramen magnum, that big hole in the back of the skull where the spinal cord comes out of, gets about half the size as it should be. Not only does it put pressure on the spinal cord and cause all these problems, but the fluid doesn't stop being made. Your cerebral spinal fluid doesn't stop being made. So the spinal fluid level goes up, the space gets smaller, and so the pressure goes up, so you get a migraine. I lived with those for 30 years. Well, you horrible. don't have those anymore, do you? No, haven't so had got one in four and a half you years. Got, you got rid of your osteoporosis, there you go. Yep, that's fantastic, I love it. And everybody that's listening, we hope that you are actually listening and hearing the <laughs> message that is brought here today. Um, because it is a message of hope. I know it was my last, my last option. Um, I didn't want to do surgery and thought, okay, let's listen to this vet being on a farm. We had a lot of respect for the vet. Um, so I hope that you really do take into consideration Dr. Wallach's recommendations here today because they really, really do work. You can go to asdoclive.com and find the products that he has mentioned in the store there. You can also find all of our recordings from our past shows on that website as well. Jaunty has done a fabulous job laying out the website. Um, he's also made some of Dr. Wallach's most popular books available there also. And you, there's, a, there's a contact us there option. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like us to ask Dr. Wallach, if you're interested in a business opportunity so that you get a thank you check from Dr. Wallach and Longevity for sharing information that you're learning here today. We are coming up to the top of the hour. Dr. Wallach, do you have any final words that you want to share with us? That... Yeah, there's, there's three things I want to say. I saw Nancy Sinatra, you know, Frank Sinatra's daughter, 
uh, published a little note there and I didn't quite catch it quick enough. So if you can find that and, and read her note, I appreciate that. But also I wanna remind everybody, um, they should be getting the book Epigenetics and this, the new CD set, which is a interview of um, Bruce Lipton, like Lipton T. He and I are the two fathers of the science of epigenetics. So you have the book and the two CD set. Then we have another, uh, that's available right now um, through all your contacts and numbers and that you've been giving out very nicely and so forth. But also we have the Wallet Corpus. The CDs are done, it's a two set of CDs. And um, the, um, it gives, it, I've taken, I think like 21 or 23 of the top stories of 53 years, you know, were uh, 27, uh, people were blind for six, eight, 10 years. And you know, I won the wager with the eye doctor and that kind of stuff. And people were on dialysis for six days a week because they hadn't peed in 10 years. People who were in comas for eight years because they had Alzheimer's disease or in a coma being fed uh, through the G tube, you know, within insure for God's sake. So in three days time, we wake them up and they go back to normal after 10, after eight years of being in a coma. So we have 20 something stories like that, which I, you know, kind of out of, literally millions of stories, I picked uh, some 23 of them that are just so spectacular that everybody has to see this and see how much hope there is that you can do yourself without the need for a doctor. There are times you need a doctor, you get run over by a concrete truck and you're hemorrhaging internally, you better go to the emergency room, right? But you know, if you're having a little bit of ringing in your ears, um, try thinking, well, maybe I've got osteoporosis of the skull and you take the deal for osteoporosis with the extra MSM and vitamin D3 and the collagen and so forth and all the other nutrients, get rid of all the bad foods you can absorb and all goes away, okay? And same thing with diabetes. You don't need a doctor to diagnose di um, diabetes. You go to a pharmacy without a prescription, it's a buck 50 for one test strip. Do it yourself. You don't have to pay $100 for an office fee. You don't have to pay $200 for the laboratory. It's a buck 50 and you know if you have diabetes or not. I mean, you could test yourself once a week for buck 50 for, you know, from the time you're born until you're 200 years of age, you test yourself once a week for a buck 50 and you'll know if you have diabetes. It's, 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 and so this is what these books and the CDs and DVDs are for, is to teach you. Uh, we actually have one, I think, where is it at? Oh, here it is. And this was my first book for the public. You know, I wrote books that are in the Smithsonian Institute's National Treasure that are 25,000 bucks each. But this is my first book for the general public. What's the title there? I have that one. Let's play doctor. <laughs> there. Okay, and so we teach people how to make a diagnosis of 600 different diseases, okay, in the original Let's Play Doctor book, teaches you how to diagnose them, how to treat them yourself. Now, there's nothing wrong with going to a doctor once a year or once every three months, but before you decide to cut your arm off because you have some arthritis in your elbow, uh, try our stuff before, before you get your arm cut off and, and go to a a prosthesis, you know, an artificial arm, especially since his son owns a prosthesis sale factory. Right. So I do have to make an admission here. Uh, Dr. Wallach, as an herbalist, the very first book that I bought that you had written is Let's Play Herbal Doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that, that's a, that was a great one that's too. A, that's a takeoff on this one. It tells you what herbs you use for all these 600 different diseases. Okay. Yep. And of course, herbs are medicines and they will relieve symptoms like pharmaceuticals without all the negative side effects of the pharmaceuticals. So in many of the approaches to all these typical diseases, we recommend the nutrients that are necessary to prevent and reverse them, but also the herbs. But people are asking more and more about the herbs. So we came out with the book, Let's Be Herbal Doctor. We have one, Passport to Aromatherapy, because aromatherapy oils, people say, well, why like you say no oils? You're saying aromatherapy oils. No, well, aromatherapy oils are really esters. They're only two carbons long. We don't have any double bonds. Or oils are 18 to 35 carbons long and have all these double bonds. So aromatherapy oils were called oils a thousand years ago because they're slippery like oil. But when you look at them chemically, they're not an oil, they're an ester. Right, right, absolutely. And a lot of your formulas have the herbs in them as well. That helps to synergistically yes. make everything work better. Absolutely, absolutely, okay, and, and we, we've done that. That's why, that's why we have these, and people say, well, where do I get this? Where do I get this? Say, well, well, we'll make a package for you, the healthy bone and joint pack, right? It has stuff in there that you need for your tendons and ligaments and cartilage and bones and, and so forth, and uh, your disc and, and so on. 
all in that healthy bone and joint pack. I think it's got like seven or eight different products in there. Okay, including uh, safe pain relievers. Okay, and um, it's all that kind of stuff. And so we prepackage these things and our basic core program is a healthy start pack as the 90 essential nutrients. And we have secret sauces for 600 different diseases. So people who have six, eight, 10, 12, 15 pre-existing conditions, if it's too expensive to take all 16 programs, let's say take the three life-threatening ones like diabetes and high blood pressure and um, uh, kidney disease, you take those three secret sauces and add them to the basic, heart, uh, you know, the basic uh, start pack, you deal with those and when those go away, then you add the other stuff and so on and become a, an associate, a distributor. Uh, you get an income stream, you get tax breaks. I mean, in this day and time, everybody needs tax breaks and everybody needs an income stream. That's right. That's right. Now, Nancy had made a comment about the quinoa and said that it can be contaminated with gluten if processed in a facility that also processes wheat. And uh, thank you, Lindbergh Nancy. Rice sells quinoa that is certified gluten free. So, yes, who thank was, you very who, much, Nancy. Who, does, who sells it? Lindbergh Rice. Okay, like Lindbergh, the pilot. Okay, Lindbergh Wright. Two pilots. Rice. Lindbergh and no, Wright. Rice. Rice, R-I-S-R-I-C-E. -E. Oh, rice. Oh, Lindbergh rice. rice. Okay. Yes. And real quick, okay. one last question, Dr. Wallach. Mm -hmm. Anne wants to know, what do you think of shrinking brain? Well, shrinking brain, of course, can be caused by taking statin drugs to reduce cholesterol, by giving up eggs and animal fats and this kind of stuff, because your brain is 71 to 75% cholesterol. I mean, I eat three eggs twice a day. I know, I'll be 82 in a couple of months, right? I eat three eggs twice a day with soft yolks, no oils, no frying, none of that kind of stuff. I do eat um, smoked salmon from Alaska for breakfast. And then for dinner at night, I'll either have roast chicken, not fried, but roast. And I will have steak. Um, I will have fish of all kinds uh, and so forth. And so um, there you go. It builds your brain. Your brain needs fat. Your brain is 75% fat. So when somebody calls you a fathead, somebody says, you're a fathead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, and that probably, like a lot of people who go on a ketogenic diet that's high in fat, one of the first things that they notice is brain fog is lifted. I love it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for that. Okay, well, this, is, this has been a great, great uh, morning. Thank you so much. As usual, Rebecca, you've done a phenomenal job and, and all of our other helpers. We can't thank the team enough and um, we're good here. I do have other yeah. things coming up, so I wanna excuse myself, but thank you so much, God bless. And um, you know, I'll be available, I'm always available through the day if you need to get a hold of me, but otherwise, uh, next week, God bless. Thank you so much, Dr. Wallach, God bless, and God bless all of you. Thank you again for joining us on Ask Doc Live. You can go to askdoclive.com and find, again, all the products that were mentioned here today and also reach out to us. On behalf of myself and my co-hosts, thank you again. We will see you next Friday, same time, same place, for more of Ask Doc Live. Have a fabulous week, everybody. Dr. Wallach, over and out. <laughs>